If you've never been to a model car show, this video will show you what it's like. We'll take you with us to the Classic Plastic Model Club Exhibition. It's fun to attend a show just as a spectator. You'll certainly learn a lot and meet other modelers, but it's better to be a participant, to bring one or more models to add to the discussion. By contributing to the show in this way, you'll be making the show better, helping fellow builders and get the chance for some valuable feedback. If your model isn't finished, bring it anyway. There's a category for that. You'll get to ask others how they would do what you're planning. Every model in the room is one of a kind. Every model has a story behind it. The first step is to choose which model you're going to take. See if it needs to be dusted or repaired before packing it up. The show flyer will state the rules. You'll need to fill out a form to register your model. You can usually print it from their website to fill out in advance or fill one out when you get to the show. The entry form is where you designate the category your model belongs in and has a place for a build description. A build description to put next to your model is very helpful. It can be simply the description part of the entry form, or it can be a card or even a build book. It helps other builders and the judges understand your design choices and the materials and techniques that went into the build. Pack the models so they can travel safely. Pack a repair kit and include a pen for when you realize you forgot something major on your description. Sometimes there's a line at the door. This is a good time to greet old friends or strike up a conversation with someone new. We're at the show. The news is here. First stop is the check-in table, where you pay the entry fee and process the paperwork. Yeah, I got my three rides. Next, find the table with your model's category. It may take a while because there are lots of distractions on the way. Time to put the model out. I have my sheet. This is actually the box that was in my video on how to make the box with the charger in it. So I'm just gonna use that today. I don't have one for my Model A. Put out your model however you want it displayed. If your model has a detailed undercarriage, it's helpful to put it on a mirrored display. But not to block anyone, I'm going to go in the back. Put the paperwork under it so it can still be read. Make sure the number in the corner is visible for judges and people filling out ballots. Except for judges, there's always a no-touch rule when it comes to other people's models. If you need to make room on the table, ask a show organizer for help. It is common practice to stash your carrying cases under the table. Got to be careful not to knock anyone else's stuff. Put it in on a diagonal. Tilt the wheels, leave it parked, and say goodbye. There are different kinds of shows. There are shows where people just get together to view models. No entry fee, no paperwork, no awards, just a good time. Like the Connecticut Street Route Association annual show. There are NNL type shows where all the attendees vote and a people's choice is awarded. Many club shows, like the one in this video, are contests where there are judges that judge models in specific categories and many awards are given out. IPMS shows are worth checking out. You'll certainly learn new techniques from builders who make models other than cars. And there is usually a car category at those shows as well. There are links in the description to videos we've done on other shows. I'm with Dana Benoit, founder of the club. My question is, why should we be going to model car shows? In model car shows, you're gonna meet a whole different kind of people. People from all walks of life, all nationalities, it doesn't really matter. These guys are interested in cars. They're gonna like this show. Cars, trucks, motorcycles. If it's got wheels, you're gonna like it. Now it's time to see the show. So many categories to see.
At most shows, you'll find flyers for other shows and clubs, donation boxes for the club's community service program. There may be a raffle or silent auction where you can win kits and other goodies. The proceeds often go to charity. We put it on every year purposely to draw more people in, to draw more interest in. We're hoping to draw more interest from the younger crowd because they're the ones that are going to help keep this hobby going. And if we can show them a better way of putting something together, generating more interest, you can get a more diverse crowd. That's what modeling is. It's not just building a car, a truck, a motorcycle. Hey, I've even seen a couple of boats, tanks. You know, we had some robots. We've got our miscellaneous class and we fill it up with those robots. This is where the hobby catches the youngsters' attention. You start with something that they like. From there, hopefully, they'll go into a car, a boat, maybe a plane, anything to keep that hobby going. And you'll find these things at a model car show. One like this one, especially, because it is so diverse. Every so often, circle back to keep an eye on your model. The club photographer may want to photograph it. The photographs may be used for club archives, award documentation, or they may be published in their newsletter, or even for show coverage in a national scale model magazine. Very important in all the excitement, stay hydrated and don't forget to eat. There is often food available at a concession stand or a food truck. The vendor area is always a treat. Vendors set up early and some modelers want to get in on the good deals first thing. If you're looking for something special but don't see it, be sure to ask. One of the cool things at a model show, you've got your built kits, you check those out, you talk to people, but there's also a vendors area. It's a great place to find stuff free shipping. Uh, I have a list on my list. I want to check out glue for an upcoming video. We've got tools. You'll find vendors with new kits, vintage kits, some die casts. There's a great mix of stuff going on. The other thing that's good to get is paint while you're here. Worth checking out. One of the really cool places to search through are boxes like these. There are treasures. You can go through Ravel parts packs, bags of engine parts, early Ravel stuff, pre-wired distributors, wheels, exhaust, suspension parts, bags of kits. You never know what you're gonna find. Prices are really good. Oh, look at this group. Some of these cool IMC kits, some Johans. Buildups. This is good. It's and you know what the cool thing is, all the wheels are here. There's an a la carte in there too. Some resin bodies. Ooh. I'm with John Rauscher, and your company is Boomer's Books and Empire Models. I'm looking for some of the UV glue. Yes. That's out there. Cool. And that has enough wattage or UV to make it happen. It should. <laughs> okay. Cash is the way to go, but you know, most of the vendors take everything else. Cutting mats are nice. They're double sided too, which is nice. It's gray on the other side. Yeah, I like this because it's a neutral color. If you're sitting looking at a green mat, the cones in your eyes are going to get affected by that green, and your color sense is going to be a little bit off. So if you're judging paint, you could have an issue. Neutral color. There may be a display of a group build or club challenge.
The best part is talking to other builders about their models and techniques. When we all come to shows, there's a lot of learning, a lot of mentoring, and a lot of sharing. I would ask questions, your chrome foil looks amazing, it looks really good, how'd you do that? Or, you know, I have a paint question. We all share that. Yep. I think that's an important part about getting together. Certainly on social media, you can, you can get that. But when you can stand next to a model and get a group of people interacting, I think that's really cool. You can ask any guy in, in our club. In fact, there's a few guys in here that are not in our club. You can ask them the same questions. Model builders of this degree, we'll say, because most of us, like yourself, we've learned a lot of things over the time, and a lot of these things we've learned by trial and error. And if you don't try, you're never going to learn it. You might get disappointed, but guys in this club, they're not going to let you get disappointed. You can ask them anything you want, foil, thinning paint, you know, uh, undercarriage detailing, polishing out something. Any one of our guys will point you in the right direction. At a certain point in the day, the judging begins. At an NNL, you will get a ballot form so you can vote on your favorite model. At a contest show, you will see the judges doing their work. It's a difficult job with many considerations. The awards ceremony happens at the end of the day. It's fun to see if a model you admired wins something. Of course, it's gratifying when you win, especially if you just built it for the fun of it. But if you don't, it's an opportunity to learn something new and plan to up your game for the next time. And best of show. Model shows always give me new ideas and get me psyched to keep building. Every year, the members of the Classic Plastic Model Club put on a great show. To find upcoming shows, check in hobby shops, scale model forums, club websites, and social media. It was great to catch up with old friends, make new friends, and see so many interesting models. I'm already looking forward to next year. And that ends the show. Thank you all for coming.